Hey everybody, so it has been a little while since I recorded and shared. I recorded a video back in the beginning of May, but I didn't post it, but it was basically announcing that I decided to do a bikini competition. Now, um, it's been on my mind for some time and I had wanted to wait until after finishing school um, for those of you who don't know, I'm working on my PhD and I was uh, hoping to maybe plan baby number two also sometime between all of that. But I um, decided that why not now, just go for it. And um, just kind of been doing a lot of research and in case you don't know or you're thinking about doing a bikini or any type of bodybuilding competition, um, they, it is very expensive and so I know that um, if you have the extra cash to spend on some of these things um, by all means go for it but I am definitely trying to work on doing it on a budget and I initially was uh, going to go and get a coach um, so I did you know asked around a couple a couple of different people here in San Antonio and some online coaches um, and it was still a little too expensive so um, a coach here in San Antonio had uh, offered to do a per session um, type of thing for me um, because I am doing my nutrition through Avatar I didn't really want to pay for the whole package of someone trying to tell me how to eat when I'm already doing that on my own and if it fits your macro slash flexible dieting. So I really didn't feel that I wanted to pay when I'm paying $10 a month for Avatar to help me with my macros. Um, really, if, if you need someone to give you a detailed meal plan, then maybe that's something you can do, but you can also buy meal plans online through different um, websites um, one of them that I really like I haven't tried on my own but I really like what she talks and what she says is gauge girl training so I mean that's like a $65 for a plan a meal plan versus you know paying $40 $70 a week for someone to do everything for you now, if you need that step-by-step, -step, I totally understand that. Not everyone wants to do that all on their own. Um, so, um, yeah. So, initially I decided I was going to do the coach and pay per session. Um, it was at a good rate, $40. Um, which, I mean, for me, that still was, was too much for... For, for us in our budget, so I decided to um, look for something else, and I went ahead and told the coach. Um, I did one session, and it went well, but for me, um, there's other little things that I just I just didn't feel like I was getting what I wanted out of out of the coach. And um, even though it was just one session, um, part of it was just um, you know I was told I was going to get a, a plan on a Sunday or get uh, a text on Sunday on when they would meet with me for the week and then I didn't get anything text on Monday then you know got back to me but it's like well uh, for me I'm a very busy person so I can't work on on that like you, if you tell me you're gonna text me on Sunday I understand you're busy you get it done till Monday but at least tell me Sunday something so um, and so I thought it was maybe just because I was like a per session person versus um, pain whole, um, like, you know, sixteen, twelve hundred dollars uh, for 16 to 12 weeks. So, um, yeah, I decided that that wasn't really what, what I wanted out of, out of my $40, because $40 is still a lot of money. Um, so, um, I did find a website, and I'll put the link below, uh, that offers a guide that was $40. I went ahead and got that and I've kind of skimmed over it so I, I don't know what my initial thoughts are whether it's worth the $40 but I'll definitely do a review about it um, later but it is a step-by-step -step. it does not give you full it gives you workouts 
and it gives you ideas for meal plans. It goes on flexible dieting. Um, it's definitely a good start from what I've skimmed. So, um, like I said, once I, I really read over it, then I'll give my opinion on whether it's worth $40. Also, what um, the website, it's called Get Fit, Go Figure? Dot com and like I said I'll put the link below so you she also offers some free stuff so you don't have to you know just pay the $40 she does offer some free stuff so just skim it and see and she also has some blog posts that pretty much kind of say similar stuff what's in the in the ebook so definitely uh, look at all those and if you don't want to pay the $40 uh, she has plenty of information there so I thought that was a um, pretty good option. I kind of wish I would have known that before I spent the other $40 on that session with the coach. But lessons learned, you know, do your research, do research, do research. Um, I am going to have to pay for posing. So I did, you know, keep a good uh, relationship with that coach and let, let them know ahead of time that I decided to just do it on my own. But I will need some help with posing. So um, I don't want to burn any bridges, never burn bridges, no matter what, you never know what can come up ahead. Um, so let's see, what else? Um, I did find a local place that does um, bikinis at a more affordable price that I saw, um, and I'll go ahead and post that below as well. Um, some thoughts that I have now are more of like, okay, what about a tan? I'm, I'm a really big planner, and I know that I should probably just think of you know just right now but I like to have everything planned out so I'm trying to figure out all the cost ahead of time um, so that I can budget and figure out how I'm gonna come up with the money for everything that I need to pay for um, so my workouts right now I'll go ahead and um, write uh, in my comment section like kind of what I'm doing for my first, uh, since it's 18 weeks until the competition that I decided to do, uh, which is the Alamo Classic Showdown here in San Antonio with the Naturally Fit Federation. So that um, is what, uh, so it's about 18 weeks out. We're June 13th and the competition is on October 14th, so if I remember correctly, like I said, it's about 18 weeks out right now um, My calories are about like 19 1950 so I'm um, just going based on avatar doing lean muscle gain and I'm about 126 right now, so um, I'm gonna kind of figure out and see when I'm gonna start cutting since it's 18 weeks out. This is my first time I doing it I'm at 23% body fat percent so I want to get that down to 12 and um, the book kind of breaks that down so I, I think I mean so far like I said I don't want to give a full review on it um, but the book that kind of breaks that down and explains how to plan for that plan that that um, plan that um, how to lose weight so right now, um, I'm going to read the book more and figure out what I'm going to start cutting calories um, this coming week or the following week after that uh, to give myself, um, you know, some wiggle room. Um, it does say like one to one and a half pounds per week, but I don't know if that's that would be too too extreme. I don't know how I would cut my my calories. So I'll have to see on that. So I don't want to. Um, I am petite, so I'm five foot, almost five foot one. So of course, um, I can probably drop down to lower calories than some people. So remember that. Um, always know that uh, you can't compare your, your calorie intake to other people, uh, especially because you know videos. You, people, you can't tell what a person's height is. Um, also metabolism all these different things so I am I am short so I can probably survive on a lot lower calories than um, some some other people 
and probably cut calories a lot lower than uh, taller taller people but remember under 1200 calories is really really not not good at all so really would not re recommend anyone to go below that um let's see what else so i'm gonna <clears throat> put another video together kind of breaking down on all the costs um on so far like what i'm gonna try to keep a budget on so you, if you have an idea of wanting to do a competition you can kind of look at that video and see is it something that you can financially afford because i know that i this is something i really really want to do and financially we're we're kind of tight so um that's why since i really want to do it i want to make sure that i'm uh, spending money wisely and working on cutting costs as much as as possible because um you know you, this isn't gonna this is just like a, a very expensive hobby i hate to call it a hobby because it's really more of because it's, it's it is it's a hobby i mean it, I, it's not a career it's not something that um it's gonna become a career i i don't have those kind of aspirations i would love to do fitness training at some point um but it's not something within the next you know that's gonna happen overnight at all it's not gonna happen in a year or two maybe five years out just depends on my schedule uh, my life I, I am working on my phd so it has nothing to do with fitness it does have to do with adult professional community education so um still within the realms um of educating and helping others uh, i think i've kind of rambled off now so i just wanted to make that announcement I'm going to go ahead and put all those links in that I said I was. Go ahead and add any comments, any information, any questions, and I will try to answer them. Remember, this is, um, I'm no expert. I'm just a person vlogging on my uh, experience. Thanks for watching.